Moosewood first opened in January of 1973. A lot of us have been there for 35 years or more. The um, really, I think, dynamic piece about the restaurant is that the menu changes every day. So that's twice a day, really, because the menu at lunch is not the same as the menu at dinner. It's about 85 to 90 percent vegetarian, and fish and seafood was a small part of the menu. Before the expression locavore came into being, which means the attempt to eat food that has been raised locally, we were doing that from the very beginning. So we have quite a range of local products. We use milk and dairy that's uh, from local farms, yogurt. Um, the tofu that we serve is from soybeans that were raised right in Tompkins County, where Ithaca is. Cheeses that are from local farms, um, produce, fruit, beer that's from local breweries, wine. There's about 100 Finger Lakes wineries now and we definitely feature a lot of Finger Lakes wines. Moosewood was named after a character in a book that was Notes to Myself by Hugh Prather. And Moosewood was a dog. It is also a kind of maple that grows in the woods right around here. And it got its name because it was the favorite browse of moose. We're open seven nights a week. You can do lunch six days a week. <laughs> Dinner seven nights a week. And it's always good to check our website. That day's menu will be on the website. Our first Moosewood restaurant cookbook came out in the mid 80s. And that was the beginning of 12 books that are currently out. Five of our cookbooks have been nominated for James Beard Awards, which is kind of like the Oscars of the culinary world. And two of them received awards. And the two that got awards were Moosewood Restaurant Cooks at Home, and the other one was Moosewood Restaurant Low Fat Favorites. The restaurant got a James Beard Award for being a regional classic. Bon Appetit named us one of the 13 most influential restaurants of the 20th century, which was quite an honor. What they were saying was that we helped change the way America eats. Our 13th cookbook will be out um, sometime in 2013, and that is going to be a collection of our favorites. New Recipes was our first collection from the restaurant. And then after that, the first one was Sundays at Moosewood, and that was the beginning of 12 books that are currently out. Part of our, our our mission has been to shine a light on the ways that you can create vegetarian meals that are still very nutritious and maintain a good source of protein. I think we've done a good job at um, popularizing tofu. Tofu is kind of the butt of a lot of jokes. And <laughs> but you have to think of it like a chameleon in that it can assume many different guises depending upon how you season it. We have been in the Duet Mall in Ithaca, New York, downtown, from the very beginning. It's a nice old former high school building. Every now and then we'll get people who went to school there. We've had people come from all over. That has been very gratifying, very exciting to um, have customers come from Europe, New Zealand, Australia. We do have regulars at the restaurant, especially uh, lunch times. We even have this one little group that sits at the bar. We call them the counterculture. At this point, the restaurant is owned by uh, 19 people. And our intent is to show by example that you can really make delicious vegetarian food and that it needn't be considered a burden to take that up. I think it was a great place to open most food. One reason that we have been in Ithaca for almost 40 years is that in those early years before we were really in any way famous, we had all the support of the local community and I think that made an enormous difference. It's been a great place to be and there's a, a very cute bumper sticker that says uh, Ithaca, New York, 10 square miles surrounded by rea reality. <laughs> we can relate. <laughs>